is going to be a first impressions, more I guess on the side of like a beauty battle breakdown because I'm going to be comparing some products for you guys. And so let's just get started into the products that I'm going to be talking about. Now this little guy here has been super popular on Instagram. I've seen a ton of pictures on it and I was super curious in picking this up because it is gorgeous as you will see in a second. But it took a while to get here, so I'm sorry I'm kind of late on the trend. <laughs> but at least I got it, and now I'm going to be talking about it. So this is, I believe it's pronounced Kyla Jume. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. You guys are probably going to jump all over me in the comments and tell me how wrong I am, but that's what I'm going to be calling it in this video. So actually this is made in Germany. This is what the packaging looks like. I got the shade Barbie Doll Powder, so we will see what this looks like. And then the lipstick comes, oh there's a little, little mirror on the back. And then it has the Kyla Jume little logo here. And then, oh, okay. So the button at the top kind of ejects the bottom. And then do I just, okay, you yank it out. <laughs> so if you didn't see that, you just push the little button and you pull it out there. <laughs> It is so pretty. Now I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere, but essentially what these are are jelly lipsticks with a little flower in the center of it and also has little gold flakes in the jelly itself. So not only am I going to be reviewing this, but I ordered this actually off of Amazon and while I was exploring Amazon, I also saw these two products here. Now these are kind of like knockoffs of this. Now this one here, which on Amazon it was from a brand called Yabina. But this, in this box, is called Hang Fang, so I'm not really quite sure why that is, but that's kind of what happened. I'll put links down below if you guys want to purchase or check out the same products I'm mentioning today. And then last but not least, I had to pick this one up because me being into Korean beauty thought this was hilarious. So this is from a brand, it was called King Hard on Amazon. But in the box, again, it's called something different. It's called New Pin Soko. So I'm not really quite sure, but you guys will see why I thought this was hilarious. This is the packaging. Now, this is exactly the same packaging as a Tude House's Etoinette lipstick. I'll go actually grab the real one so you guys can see what they look like. This is the OG Etude House one, and this is the new Pin Soko. Sorry if I keep looking down, I'm just making sure I'm calling these the right things. So, as you can see, the Etude House one is a little bit taller and skinnier, but they are pretty dang close to each other. Now, I forgot actually now that I'm thinking about mentioning the prices because there's a big price difference in these two. So, Kyla Jume, $19.37. The Yabina slash Hang Fang is $3.41. And the King Hard slash New Pink Soko slash knockoff Etoinette from a Tude House is $3.15. So these are about three bucks a piece and this one was 20. So we will see kind of how they fare against each other. So let's go for the OG first, which is the Kyla Jume lipstick. Now this is a color adjusting type of lipstick. So when you apply it on your lips, it adjusts to, I believe the temperature of your lips and it kind of turns into a nice pink color. So I also tried to get colors that were similar to each other so we could do a more similar comparison since these also have other shades as well as this which I believe has four shades. So let's go ahead and I will give you guys a close up of my lips so we can see what this looks like on my lips. I do have like a little boo boo on my lip right now where it cracked but I kind of always have little cracks on my lips. Ooh, it is super smooth. Wow, it's already color changing color. Hmm. Ooh, really pretty. Mm, it smells good too, it smells like candy. So as you can kind of see the difference between my lips, it's a really, really pretty pink color. Okay, so this felt amazing on my lips. I feel like this would be an awesome purse lipstick that you could just throw on whenever and you get like a really pretty color, comfortable to wear, super easy to apply. So I really like this and plus it has a little mirror which is pretty handy dandy if you ask me. So I'm actually going to let this sit on my lips for a couple minutes and then I'm going to come back and wipe it off so we can see if it stains my lips at all. Okay you guys, so I've had this on my lips now for a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off and we will see if it leaves any color or pigment on my lips. 
Okay, so as you can see, I wiped all of the lipstick off and it does tint your lips a little bit, which I actually like with these balmy type of products because when they wear off, you still have a little bit of color in your lips. So now I'm gonna go grab some makeup remover so I can remove as much of this as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the other lipsticks. I got most of it off, as you can see, I got a lot of the color off with the makeup remover. I'm also gonna wipe my lips with a clean cotton pad so I can get rid of any residue left over from the makeup remover, so we will start from scratch. So next I'm going to try the Yabina slash Hang Fang, I think that's what it's called, yes, Hang Fang lipstick. Again, this is 341 on Amazon, and it's the one that looks like this. Oh, I got shade number three. So this was the pink shade that they had available. You can see the little flower in there. No gold flakes and the jelly is a pink tone. So it's coming off orange on camera, but it is actually more pink in real life, the actual jelly. Let's go ahead and apply it. Hmm. This one smells a little bit more like grapey. So as you guys can see, this one also left a little bit of a tint on my lips. I would say this one is a little bit more on the pink side while this one was more hot pink. So I actually kind of like this color a little bit better. It feels pretty much exactly the same going on. So it has kind of that like very balmy, almost kind of glossy type of feel to it. So very comfortable to wear, very easy to apply. I feel like it's pretty dang close except for the fact it's obviously not as pretty, like you don't get the packaging as you do with this guy and you don't get the gold flakes, but maybe if you just want something kind of fun with the flower in it, you could definitely opt for this one. So I'm gonna, like I did with the last one, go ahead, let it sit on my lips for a couple minutes and come back and show you guys if it leaves a tint on my lips and what the tip. Okay you guys, so it's been another couple minutes like I did with the last lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the residue off. Okay, so this one, again, stained as well. It left a really pretty stain. There's no like residue left over on my lips. So overall, pretty impressed with this, considering this was only like three, how much was this? $3.41, so super cheap compared to this one. So let me go ahead and remove the rest of the residue with some makeup remover, and then I'm gonna go ahead and check out the last one. We are going in with the new Pinsoko lipstick. This one is in the shade Flowers Kiss. So, like I mentioned, it's in the Etude House Etoinette collection packaging or uh, uh, knockoff version of that. It's mostly similar to this guy, what it looks like. There's no gold flakes in it, and the jelly itself has a little bit of a pink tint to it. So let's go ahead and give you guys close-ups. Probably has my least favorite smell. Kind of smells a little like a fruity crayon. What? Getting hints of fruit and crayon. Fruity crayon. Okay, so actually I would say this is the most slippery out of all three. I actually think I like this one better as far as the cheap alternatives go. Now as I did with the other two, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for a couple minutes and come back and show you guys the tinted. All right you guys, so it's been a couple minutes, so let me go ahead and wipe this baby off so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, all three of these left a good amount of tint on my lips, so I guess now I will go over my thoughts and kind of share with you guys what I think in general. So overall, I really like the actual product of these. I like how they wear, I like how they feel, I like how they change color to your lips, and I also like the fact that they're just really pretty and fun. And not only that, but I feel like they're something you can wear every day. Now, of course, the Kyla Jume lipstick is the nicest of them. I like the packaging. I think it's really like interesting how it kind of fires open, has a mirror, and of course it has, it just looks nicer and it's higher quality as far as having the gold flex in it and the actual little flower. But I have to say that 
these two were not bad. Honestly, they felt exactly the same. The only difference was this guy here did feel a little bit more balmy, but that was because I'm being kind of nitpicky and paying attention to the details. Now, obviously the packaging of these aren't as nice as this guy here. They are cheap. This one to me just kind of gets some points knocked off because it is such a knockoff of Etude House. So yeah, that's kind of where I stand with those. I definitely have to say that this one here, which is the Yabina slash Hing Fang, is the best dupe for this out of these two. I would definitely recommend if you just want to try it, you don't have 20 bucks to spend on one lipstick because in all honesty, that's a little steep for one lipstick. I definitely recommend going for this one. I think it's actually a pretty good dupe for it, minus the fact it doesn't have the gold flakes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty battle breakdown of the Flower Jelly Lipsticks. As I do with all my videos, I will put links in the description box below, direct links to Amazon where I bought mine, and you guys can check it out there. Please don't forget to hit that like button, it helps my channel out a ton. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!